Hello besties and welcome back to another episode of Mental Health with Megan. So today's topic for the episode is going to be seasonal depression. Yay! So fun. What a good topic. Um, I am actually excited to talk about this though because I feel like it's important to talk about kind of and I feel like a lot of people can relate to this. Like Honestly, if somebody told me that they didn't get at least a little bit of seasonal depression, I don't know if I would believe them. I don't know if I would believe them. I totally understand why there are people that, like, go to Florida or somewhere where it's warm for the winter, because I hate the winter so much. Um, so today is November 1st. I'm filming this on November 1st, and I need to know, you guys let me know if you're a Christmas on November 1st kind of person, like, are you putting up your decorations today? Are you taking down your Halloween decorations and putting up like fall decorations? Or are you taking all that down and putting up your damn Christmas tree? I need to know. Let me know. Because honestly, I hate seeing Christmas stuff in the stores in October. And I kind of hate it even more in November. Because I'm like, what about Thanksgiving? I like Thanksgiving better because like Thanksgiving is literally like solely about food and gratitude and both of those things are very important to me and like very enjoyable things. Being grateful is enjoyable. I do a daily gratitude journal and I love eating food. I mean who doesn't eat, love eating food like pumpkin pie and I don't really like turkey to be completely honest. I've never really been a big fan of turkey like I prefer ham. Um, but anyways, like, I love food. Oh my god, now I'm thinking about, like, mashed potatoes and stuffing and mac and cheese and the desserts. Pumpkin pie and apple pie and, oh my god, chocolate chip pumpkin squares. I make the best chocolate chip pumpkin squares in the world. Um, maybe I'll do a video on them one day. They're so good. The recipe is definitely on my TikTok somewhere. But they, yes, they are literally, they are so good. But, um, yeah, so seasonal depression. But first comment right now if you're watching this. Are you a Christmas on November 1st type of person or do you wait until after Thanksgiving? Because I kind of feel like 50-50 about that. Like, I'm definitely not putting up Christmas decorations today or anytime soon. It's especially the tree. I don't put the tree up at least until after Thanksgiving. Um, but I don't even like Christmas that much anymore. And I'm going into the stores and I want to buy Christmas stuff. And then I'm like, you don't need to buy Christmas stuff. You have a shit ton of it already. And also, like, I don't even like Christmas that that much. But I like shopping. And there are some very cute Christmassy things. <sighs> so tragic. But anyways, seasonal depression. So seasonal depression is exactly what it sounds like. It's depression based off the seasons changing and based off the seasons. And sometimes you get seasonal depression all year round. Sometimes you get that shit in the summer. Sometimes you get that shit in the fall and the spring and the winter. Um, no, but for real, like seasonal depression is tough. Like when it starts getting dark at like six o'clock and then the seasonal depression starts creeping in and then it starts getting cold and then it starts getting dark at like literally like 3 30 4 o'clock p.m i think it literally gets dark at like four o'clock starting like next month and then it's cold and gross and i just oh my god i'm like upset thinking about it it was like 30 something out today when i left for work and i was pissed off at the world when i woke up and like saw the temperature on my phone and had to go outside at seven something in the morning and be freezing i was not happy about it I was not. And it's also weird because like it'll be freezing out and then I'll dress really warm. Hence these sweatpants. These are fleece sweatpants. They're fleece sweatpants on the inside. And I wore them yesterday too. And I went to the mall with my friends and I was sweating. Like they crank up the heat in the places you go to like the mall and at school and at work. But then you dress all warm. You dress all warm to go outside, but then, like, you're in a building and you're, like, dying of the heat. You know, I hate that, too. That's another thing about the winter I just can't stand. Um, like, bundling up to be outside for, like, a couple seconds or minutes at most 
like walk into your car and then like having to get in, into your car and like once the heat is on then you have to like unbundle yourself because then you're hot I just I hate the winter so much or when you do like anything athletic outside like sports or going for a run or horseback riding because usually like I haven't rode in a while but when I used to horseback ride a lot I would do it in the winter and like you'll sweat from working out but then you'll be freezing at the same time so then you have like cold sweats oh my god it's just awful I hate everything about the winter pretty much so but yeah but seasonal depression is tough and that shit started creeping in on me like I think just this week or last week and it's so weird because we had like Indian summer so it got a little colder it was like in the 50s low 50s high 40s then it went up to 70 and we had like 68 70 degree weather for a couple days and then today we had a freeze warning this morning it was I don't even know what it was it was like 30 something um and it's snowing upstate new york it's snowing in minnesota it's snowing in colorado like it's time it's time do i sound like mariah carey probably not um i'm joking but yeah like we had a freeze warning this morning and i was like oh my god and when it gets dark super early like me and my friends were out last night it was getting dark at 5 30 and like my brain and i think this happens to everyone your brain just assumes it's dark outside it's time for bed because it'll be like six o'clock and i'm like damn why am i so tired right now and then i'll be like oh well it's dark out that's why i'm tired because my brain now thinks that six o'clock is bedtime because it's dark outside and i'll be sitting here from like six to like 11 is usually when i end up going to bed and i'll be like oh it's just so hard it's so depressing like i don't want to go out at all when the weather drops below 50 or like 40. no honestly like i'm a i'm a 50 degrees and up kind of person it needs to be hotter than that honestly like i love summer because you can go outside and like be warm and you're surrounded by warmth and it's like inviting and like I know cozy isn't really the right word for that, but you get what I'm saying, right? Then you walk outside in the winter and you're like in shell shock, like in the morning when you get out of bed. And personally, me personally, I get out of bed like very quickly or very soon before I have to leave. Like I'll wake up 15, 20 minutes in advance because I usually don't eat breakfast. All I do is get dressed, brush my teeth, brush my hair pack my shit and like run out the door so I wake up I don't really give myself time to wake up you know like I'll be half asleep driving to school but yeah waking up getting ready and walking out the door and it's freezing and you're surrounded by cold air it is literally the worst thing ever like the it's just it's so awful it, it truly is I hate it I keep getting on like tangents because I'm not really talking right now about like seasonal depression really I'm talking about winter but I'm kind of talking about the reasons why I hate winter and how that like causes and leads to seasonal depression. Um, seasonal depression is just, it truly is awful. It's not fun. It's not fun. You know, the transitions of the seasons changing are not fun. Like I like the fall, don't get me wrong. Like I like going outside and there's like, you know, a li it's a little bit cool. It's just like, crisp fall air and i love walking on the leaves and hearing the crunch of the leaves i love that that alone makes me so happy um like i love fall but then the transition into winter is so tough it's so tough you know like it really is like i just want to hibernate i wish as a human i could hibernate and not leave my house for like four months i mean eventually obviously we did that during COVID, you know, we were literally quarantined during COVID. So eventually, I guess you, you would start to go a little crazy, but I leave my house as little as possible in the winter. And like, once I'm home, I am not going back out. I'm not, I'm just not, no, it's not happening. Like once I am home, I'm staying at home. If I come home from the grocery store at five o'clock, I'm staying at home for the rest of the night. I'm not going to go out with my friends. I'm not going back to the grocery store if I forgot something. I'm not going to the gym. 
which is like another thing I really need to start going to the gym again and I really want to start going to the gym again. I can never stay consistent with going to the gym. It's really frustrating. But like once I'm home for the night, I want to just be home for the night, put on my comfy pajamas, be in my heated room, in my nice cozy bed. Oh my god, that is the only thing really that I like about winter time other than Christmas and snow. I do like snow. But I don't like playing in the snow. Sledding's fun. When I was a kid, I loved to play in the snow. You know, I like sledding. I like tubing. Anything like that. But I don't ski. I don't snowboard. Um, like, I'm just, I'm not a snow person. If it's going to be snowing, I want to be, like, in a cabin in the middle of the woods with the fire going. You know what I mean? And, like, drinking my, like, hot cocoa or, like, spiced cider or something. Like, I don't want to be outside. I want to be cozied up inside watching a movie or watching tv you know and i just feel like you get to explore less in the winter you get a lot less sun because a lot of days are very gloomy so there's less sunshine it's freezing cold you don't get as much fresh air um like it's just so hard to take care of yourself during the winter and like be happy during the winter that's why you know seasonal depression exists it's a thing you know, like, look it up, it really, it's real, it's real, and I think, I truly think that everybody gets seasonal depression, at least a little bit, you know, unless you, like, love the winter, there are some people that really do love the cold and love the winter, I'm not one of them, I wish I was, but I'm not, but being all cozied up in your bed in the winter when it's snowing, that's, like, the only acceptable thing I love about the season, but the transition of the seasons are hard, Sometimes even going into the seasons you like are hard, like going into spring, going into summer, just it's a transition, you know, for your body, for your mind, for your life, you know, because you're going to be doing different things and it's just totally different. The summer and the winter are polar opposites, obviously, like seasonal depression is hard. It's a big change, a big difference, you know, you kind of have to really learn how to live your life and accommodate it to the season you know what I mean so yeah but I wanted to talk about some ways to combat seasonal depression um some healthy ways to combat seasonal depression because when I was thinking about filming this podcast I was like oh you know um shopping it's an indoor activity um but I'm working on my shopping addiction so we're not doing that anymore um or online shopping because it gets delivered right to my door and then I don't have to go out in the cold but no, seriously, healthy ways to combat seasonal depression, because I feel like it's different and it's almost harder to handle than regular depression, because it's, I feel like it's more, like, the only thing that's going to fix it really is the season changing and the season coming to an end, you know what I mean? Like, it's harder to combat seasonal depression because you know that at the end of the day, the only thing that's really going to make you feel better is some sunshine and warmth. But let's talk about some ways to combat it. Drink a cup of tea, cup of hot cocoa, cup of coffee, whatever you drink, cup of joe, whatever you drink, a hot drink. Cozy up in your bed, watch a movie that you like, watch your favorite movie, watch your favorite TV show, read a book. Reading a book in the winter always makes me feel so much better reading in general but like being all cozy up in your bed when you know it's really cold outside reading a book is just so relaxing and so nice take plenty of hot showers I recommend if you're like me and probably slightly anemic I haven't been tested yet but you know uh take iron pills if you're the type of person that gets really cold really fast and you also stand up feeling lightheaded and stuff maybe think about taking some iron supplements Um, and in the winter, I also take lots of vitamin C, vitamin B complex and vitamin D, vitamin D, because, you know, you need a little bit of artificial vitamin D in the winter when you're not really outside getting a lot of sunshine. So vitamin D takes supplements. Um, vitamin B is helps boost your mood really. Um, so take supplements, look into supplements and good supplements that you can take during the winter. Boost, you know, make sure you're boosting your immune system so you're not getting sick because it's so easy to get sick when it's freezing cold outside and it's just like that time of year you know um don't be hard on yourself 
don't be hard on yourself. If you have to take it easier on yourself in the winter, because just solely because it's winter, that's okay. That's perfectly fine. Don't be hard on yourself. You don't need to be super hard on yourself all the time, which is a lesson that I feel like I need to learn. I really need to start taking my own advice. I really do. Um, but you can't be hard on yourself. Like, this is just something that's a part of life. It happens to, I think, everyone, um, or at least a lot of people, and you have to just get through it, you know? Like, the seasons changing is a part of life, right? No matter where you live in the world, the seasons change. Maybe you don't get snow, you know, you live in, like, Florida or, like, a part of California or something that doesn't get snow, um, but the season still changes and the weather still changes and it's still cold or it's still really hot or whatever, you know? And then there's, like, places like, I think, Alaska, where half of the year it's cold and dark and then the other half of the year it doesn't get dark. That's so crazy to me to think about, but, like, no matter where you live in the world, the seasons are going to change and your mental health and your mood is going to change along with it. And you have to just learn how to deal with it and get through it, just like everything else in life. Um, but another way that I really like to, like, combat seasonal depression is thinking about warm things. Think warm, happy thoughts. So I like to think about sitting by a fireplace, and I don't have a fireplace in my apartment, but I really wish I did. But I like to think about sitting by my fireplace or sitting in a cabin in the woods with the fireplace going. And when I close my eyes like this, I'm just like visualizing things. I really like doing that. I like to think about being on a beach somewhere, a warm, sunny beach where the sand is like so hot. It's burning you when you sit on the ground. Um think happy warm thoughts it will help you it will help get you through I promise you know um take a vacation if you can you know like I know vacations and traveling it's unfortunately really really expensive but if you have the money and the time and you're able to go to Florida for a few days go to California for a few days go to New Mexico for a few days like get out of the cold for a few days if you can you know like I know it's not like the easiest solution and it's not gonna happen for everyone like I don't know if I can afford to take a vacation this winter and I usually don't just because I'm like 20 like I've only been like an adult for t an adult for two years and I haven't had the money or like time to take vacations in the winter but me and my best friend have been saying for like two years now like we need to go on vacation in the winter and then we don't but hopefully this winter it will happen because I would love to get away from the cold for a few days that must be so nice but then it must suck coming back to the cold but you know vacations are one of those things where you really have to be present in the moment and you really have to enjoy it while it lasts and then eventually that's another transition when you go on vacation you got to come home and get back to life and sometimes usually you're like fuck I wish I didn't have to come home, and I wish I didn't have to go back to school or work or blah blah blah, but that's just life. It's another transition that you go through in life. <clears throat> and when it gets so light out so early, like once it's dark, once it's dark out, I don't really want to do anything, you know, like once it's dark out, I just want to lay in my bed and watch TV. And it makes the day, the day well, the day is literally our shorter. There's you know, less hours of daylight, you know, so it's like, feels like the days are so short, and it's so frustrating, like, today is just one of those days where I'm like, I have so much to do, and not enough time to do it, even, like, filming podcasts, the sun's about to go down right now, like, it's starting to get darker already, and I'm like, oh my god, I hate this, um, so much, I hate this so much, but, yeah, like, it's just, it's hard, seasonal depression is hard, and it sucks, but there are things that will help get you through it. And I think one of the best things for me that helps me is meditation and visualization of warm, happy places and thoughts. I think those are like the two things that like really help get me through it. And like cooking. I love cooking in the winter because there's so many things you can make and there's like nothing better than eating a hot, warm, home cooked meal in the middle of the winter. You know what I mean? Like. I like making broccoli cheddar soup, shepherd's pie, chili. I make the best chili. Chicken pot pie. 
um like there's just so many good like winter meals so i really like cooking in the winter plus i'd prefer to like stay in the house <laughs> rather than like going to get food so cooking is helpful at least for me and honestly just giving in like if i don't want to go to the gym because it's too cold whatever it's not the end of the world i mean i definitely need more discipline in my life but you know what i'm saying so yeah but i just wanted to film this episode of the podcast because i can feel it coming i can feel it coming the seasonal depression is it's kicking in like it's getting dark now some of the days when i'm driving to work because i work nights at a restaurant a couple of days on the weekend and there it's it's gonna start being dark before i go into work and that's just not okay with me that makes me so sad so sad but on that note thank you guys so much for watching this episode of the podcast i hope you enjoyed and i wish you guys luck getting through the winter good luck to us it's not going to be fun it's not going to be easy it's going to be tough um but we're going to get through it i like renee rap's song i'll make it through the winter if it kills me maybe i can make it faster if i hurry her whole snow angel album is amazing but that song is like one of my favorites and it's so true i'm like yeah maybe i'll make it through the winter too you know but it's hard it's a hard that song is like basically about seasonal depression and it hits hard it goes hard all right you guys well we'll check back on this topic in a few more weeks when it's really winter we're supposed to have a bad winter where i live but then again they always kind of say that so i don't even know what to believe anymore but considering that we had a freeze warning on november 1st i think they might be right but yeah on that note i love you guys so much make sure to like this video comment on this video and subscribe to my channel for more and i will see you guys and talk to you guys soon I love you guys so much. Bye.